What is up, Barso? I am, as always, Claire Ketchel. And I'm sometimes Gwen Lop. On the weekends, I'm Gwen. Are you ready for the greatest BTV in show of all time? Clara, sweet, sweet, foolish Clara. That already happened last week when I hosted with Amy. And if you haven't watched that episode, go. It's like really funny, like the funniest. I see how it is. What, what's happening? Nothing. Uh, I'm sorry, Clara, talk to me. It's fine. Roll the intro. Clara, I'm sorry. Roll it. As you can see, I have kicked Gwen out. I'm still here. Not in my heart. In some club announcements, GSA meets at 12.45 and Eco Club meets at 11.15. Agathon, Barstow's literary and art magazine, is currently accepting submissions for the October edition. Contact Ms. Ganter or the senior editors, Maddie Browning, Megan Alacaretti, and me, Clara Danger Petrol. Clara, you're about as dangerous as a paper clip. Don't psychoanalyze me, Gwen. That's a deep, dark hole, and you don't want to go there. Wait a minute. That's a line from Adam's Family, the Upper School Musical. I'm in that show. Whoa, I'm in that show, too. Darn, that's crazy. Who would have thought? Did you know that tickets are on sale right now on showticksforyou.com? I did know that. Did you know that tickets are free for students and faculty? Wild. Did you know that Chris made a promo for the show? No way. Did you know we're about to watch it? Did you know that? Oh, breaking news. Oh, hello, Mr. Director. Uh-huh. 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 We're being annoying. This bit is going on too long. We're uh -huh. fired. Understandable. Makes sense. Mm. So the Adams Family is a musical version of the classic uh, Adams Family story um, that a lot of people knew from either the, the 1960s black and white television series or in the 1990s there was a couple of really famous uh, film versions of it. So it involves the Adams Family, and their, um, but it's uh, Wednesday has grown up. So she's a young lady and she has a boyfriend and she wants to bring her boyfriend and his family over for dinner. Hi, my name is Gwen Love. I play Alice Spinecki in The Addams Family. My name is Rishi and I play Gomez Adams in this year's production of The Addams Family. To get ready to play Gomez Adams, one of the biggest things we do, especially in the hair and makeup process, is gel my hair all the way down and I think it's the smell or something about the hair gel that just gets me in the zone and ready to play Gomez. To get into my role, I try to think thoughts that the character would actually think. Like if I was Alice, I'd be like, oh, the date looks so lovely today. My son's so cute. He's excited for his date. Just things like that to try to really per be the character, get rid of Gwen and be Alice. Nobody's ever asked me what I do to get ready for the play. I think we usually focus on what the actors do, but you know, I think I have to do a little bit of the same thing. I have to get myself focused. Um, I need a little bit of silence. Usually, bef even before rehearsals, I need just a little bit of silence before we get started so that I, I'm really clear with uh, my plan for the evening. The scene that I'm looking forward to the most is Full Disclosure, which is where kind of all the secrets of the show come out. The scene I'm looking forward to the most is probably Happy Sad. It's a very touching and emotional scene. And pretty much my goal is to make the audience cry a little bit, so that's why I'm excited for it. So the Upper School Musical, The Addams Family, uh, opens on October 17th. It plays the 17th, 18th, and 19th, 7 o'clock in the evening. Tickets are always free to Barstow students, so come on out and see The Addams Family. 
We pleaded for our jaws back, so haha, <laughs> you're stuck with us. They want us to talk as little as possible. So here's a sound bite with Ms. Taha about the 135th anniversary of Barstow. So the 135th anniversary party is Friday, October 11th at 6.30. We are bringing it back to the school. So it'll be in the back parking lot in lot D. We're pitching a tent and we'll have a stage, we'll have a band, um, we'll have a raffle and ring toss and silent auction items. And we're really excited because we'll have alumni, parents, grandparents, trustees, and friends of the school will be there. Um, it's really going to be incredible, a wonderful evening. We are really excited to celebrate Barstow's 135th year. This is kind of the kickoff for the year. There'll be other events throughout the year for the school. Um, and this is the big community party that we'll be having. So um, it's also in conjunction with Alumni Weekend, and we felt that was important to have alumni on campus to celebrate this milestone. Um, in terms of Alumni Weekend, we'll have Maria Ilyakova, class of 2004, on campus as our speaker at 10 o'clock on Friday. So don't miss that. Wow. Happy birth, Barstow. Clara, since I speak French and you speak Spanish, go ahead and welcome you know who. Wait, 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 wait. I think French. I thought you spoke Spanish. Yup. Yep. Fired again. Well, this will be our last show. Sad. But before we go, let's say welcome, welcome Argentinian, Argentinian students. students. Hopefully the weather is nice for your stay. <laughs> That's the cue to go to Caden. Hello everyone and welcome back to another weekly weather report. We're going to jump right into it today because we, we have some interesting weather coming up this week. So currently we're going to experience some temperatures around 60 degrees. It's going to feel a little bit warmer than that. Um, we have a little bit of cloud coverage. Um, it's been off and on this morning so the sun may be peeking through uh, throughout the morning. Um, but we are going to see some more cloud coverage as we head later into the day. We actually have a chance of some precipitation and rain um, around noon and then heading into the early afternoon we're going to see the biggest chance and then again around 7 o'clock over here we're going to see some more uh, chances of rain. And as you can see it's actually going to warm up as we head into the night um, because tomorrow we're actually going to see some warmer temperatures um, and heading into the rest of the week it is going to cool down again. So Thursday, as you can see, we're going to see some temperatures in the high 70s and then it is go or in the mid 70s and then it is going to cool down with that um, rain we're going to see on Thursday in the nighttime. We could bring in a cold front that's going to cool it way down on Friday and we're going to see temperatures um, in the high 40s as our high. It is going to be the coldest day we have seen this fall. And then heading into the weekend, we are going to see some um, pretty beautiful weather, going to see a lot of sun mid 60s it's going to be some fantastic weather for the weekend and then it is going to warm up as we head into the next week on monday but before i go i'd like to remind everyone that we have an am assembly schedule for our alumni speaker grades 6 through 12 please plan to attend that's all i have for you today send it back to you at the news desk thanks kaden we appreciate you well now they are literally begging us to leave i can actually hear them crying fine we'll go I'm still Clara. And I'm still Gwen. Gwen. Bye-bye, everyone.